In Season 1 of Marvel Rivals, my game has never felt better, and they added more settings that you guys need to know about to make sure you're playing with the best possible settings. So instead of wasting your time, let's get right into it. First thing up, display mode. I've tested between full screen and borderless window, and so far, there's very little difference. And in general, full screen has the best latency, and when I try to alt tab and click on different tabs, my game doesn't instantly close. So it works for double monitor as well. So there's no reason not to use full screen on Marvel Rivals. Now as for anti-aliasing and super resolution, if you guys have have an nvidia graphics card you're going to use nvidia dlss and you're going to want to use the balance preset now you might ask why not performance? The reason why is the more you go towards the performance side, the more that the images become blurrier and blurrier. And I found that it made it much harder for me to hit my shots or keep track of where a target is. Now, if you have an AMD graphics card like I do, right now the best looking one with the best quality I found is Epic TSR. Now I used to use AMD FSR on ultra performance preset, but the only problem with it was it completely ruined the image quality and everything started to look framey. So for the best clarity, I switched over to Epic TSR on the performance preset with ultra quality. Now, as for the super resolution sharpening, this depends on what you'd like to use. Personally, I like using 100. Now, as for frame generation, if you don't know what frame generation is, basically just keep it off. What it does is it will boost your frame rate an absolute ton. The only problem with that is it'll almost double your latency. And in English terms, that means when you click, there's going to be double the delay with frame generation on rather than off. So I keep it off so I have the best competitive advantage. As for low latency mode, unfortunately, AMD cards don't have this. But if you're on NVIDIA, make sure you turn this on. Now, everything here, this is all preference. I like having my show FPS on and having my network stats. But VSync, unless you have a 60 hertz monitor, make sure you turn this off. And then for what you guys really want to see, the graphics settings. Everything I have is off or on low, except for shadow detail. And let me show you why. You see how clear my shadow is here? This has helped me in real games so many times because you can see enemy shadows as well. And in general, it doesn't cause a very big drop in frames. Now, one setting that every single person, please, if you, you gotta watch this part of the video, everyone needs to see this. You need to head over to keyboard and go to combat. From combat, if you look right over here, you can see mouse smoothing and mouse acceleration. You wanna make sure both of these are off. What this does is if you go from one target to another with mouse acceleration on, depending on how fast you move your mouse, it will move faster and it will make your aim completely inconsistent. Before we had to have our own config files to do this, but now you could just do it right here. Now, one other thing, even if you have this mouse acceleration off, you might still have mouse acceleration on. And let me show you how to fix that. From Windows, you want to search mouse. When you search up mouse, it's going to pop up this screen. And if you have Windows 10, you may see something a little different, but you want to find advanced mouse options or additional mouse settings, which is right here. From here, you're going to head over to pointer options. And then from pointer options, you have to check if enhanced pointer precision is on or off. You want to make sure no matter what that this is off. This will give you mouse acceleration in every single game you play. So make sure you turn this off. And if this video helped you, check out this video with 34 minutes of brutally honest Marvel Rivals advice. Have a good one, everyone. God bless you.